Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this effect. Random color divs of random dimensions just getting displayed over and over again. And I'm going to use this to show our use case, the for loop in PHP and also the meta refresh tag. So let's go back to my code. I've got a simple HTML page and what would I need to do just to put in a single div? Well, I put in a div element with a div start and end tag. And if I wanted that div to be a certain dimension, certain width by height, I'd need to put in some kind of style somewhere, controller from CSS. And with CSS, I've got three different options. I can either use an external style sheet, an internal style sheet, or this is the third option, using an inline style. So this style is only going to affect this particular element. Uh, so I'll put in a width option, maybe 200 pixels, put in a height property there as well, 200 pixels. And again, with inline styles, this is just, um, it's just, CSS that's only going to affect this one element. And uh, the other thing I might need to do to make it obvious or to make it shown is I'll need to put in a background color. I might put that very first thing here, background color. And set that to uh, some hexadecimal color. So I'll put in a hash and some random hexadecimal color there. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back and find that in my page. Here we go. So a was it 400 pixel by 400 pixel div uh, with that random color there and I can see it. I'm also going to actually position it slightly differently here. Um, so the position, I'm going to set the position value to absolute. And with position absolute, I then have to set the top property. I'll set it to 350 pixels from the top. And I'll also set the left property. And I'll put it in 250 pixels from the left. These are all just random values that I'm picking here. Uh, it's just to show you how I'm just going to set up this first div. So we can see it's a little bit from the top, a little bit in from the left. I've got a 200 by 200 pixel div, and it's got a color of green. Now, I want to get a number of those different divs, and this is where the for loop comes in. I want to replicate this div tag that I'm just after doing here. I want to replicate that 30 times, let's say. So I'm going to use a for loop to do that. I'm going to open up a PHP code block. I'll close it down here. Uh, this is no longer HTML. Uh, this is in PHP land. So I'm just going to have to put in an echo and single quote and I'm just going to take another single quote, the other side of that whole div element and echo that out into the HTML. I want to do that, like I said, 30 times. So I'm going to use a for loop for uh, $i. Less than or equal to 30. And make sure I increment it at the end. So I get my curly brace there. And the body of that loop is going to be just that echo statement that is echoing out that div 30 different times. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh. Now we're not going to see much difference when I refresh. And you might be wondering why asking, didn't I actually just echo out that div 30 different times? We did. And I can prove that we did by right clicking and going view page source. I can see that we've got 30 different divs here. Uh, it's going over in a very long horizontal scroll. So just to make that a little bit more obvious, I'll just put in a PHP end of line constant there just to break that source onto different lines. So I can see, yes, that div has been echoed out 30 different times. It exists, but because the position is absolute and it's the same position every time, they're just getting stacked one on top of the other. So um, what I'm seeing here is just 30 different divs, one on top of the other layered over and over again. I want to randomize those positions, that top on the left, so that it's not always in the same place every time. So let me go back to my code. And there's a number of ways that I can do this. But uh, one of the ways is, is just to inject in, instead of this 350 being hard coded into the code, I need to inject in a random value there. So how I do that, I take out the 350. I put in single quotes to jump out of the string literal, put in a concatenation operator, and I'm going to call the rand function here. 
a ran function in PHP. If you look it up in the PHP function manual, you'll see that it's two different variants of it. One takes no parameters, one takes two parameters, a min and a max, to actually give me a range of what number or where the number should exist. So that's what I'm going for here. I'm actually going to just put in two numbers here, a minimum and a maximum. So this is from the top, and I might use this. I've got a display here that's 1920 pixels deep. So I'm just going to maybe go between one and 1920. Let's see what happens. And I need to do something similar for left as well. So again, this 250 pixels that's put in here for left, I need to inject in a random value for that 250. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I've done before. Um, my width here of my screen is a good bit bigger, 2,220 pixels. So that should randomize my top and left values. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back to my browser and just check and see what happens. So we get a variety of different divs. We can see them cropping up there. They've all got the same background color for the moment but at least they're getting splayed across the screen. I think if, again, that top and left coordinate for my div, it's going to define where that top left corner of the div is going to be placed in the browser. If I place it right down the bottom here, most of the div is going to actually appear off screen. So probably I'm going to adjust that back a little bit, just bring it back to something a little bit more reasonable so that if it does occur in that area, that it's going to be a little bit more towards the top. Could see I've got a lot of white space over here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of actually trying to figure this out with pixels, I'm going to change these to percentage signs. It's just a li little bit easier. So put in a percentage there rather than the pixel value and a percentage here rather than a pixel value for that. And then it's just going to be a lot easier just to kind of say, listen, I want it between zero and 90% of that screen size and zero and 90% of the screen width as well. So let's try that. And again, I'm hoping, yes, that we just get much more coverage of the screen and I don't have to be kind of weighing up the pixels the whole time. So those are my divs. Every time I refresh the screen, you'll see another random configuration of all of these different divs. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the next thing I'm going to do back in my code again, I want to do the same type of scenario here with my width and my height values. Um, I'm still going to hold the actual pixel values here. And again, it's just really the effect that I want to go for. I'm just going to eject in this here. It's going to be pixels, so it's no point having a zero width div because I won't be able to see it. So I'll maybe go between 50 and 300 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to do the same here. Copy that onto my clipboard for the height. I'm going to paste it in there instead of that 200 pixels. And it's going to go in there for that. And so save that and we'll go back and refresh. So I'm getting different widths and heights here. And every time I refresh, again, we're getting a different configuration every time. Um, can we even go probably a little bit lower than 50 pixels just to get a little bit more variety here. And we get that. Now, at the same time, everything is still very much the same color. That's where the last piece comes in here. I want to put in some kind of randomness on this hexadecimal color value. The difficulty is, is this, the rand function is only going to give me out a decimal value. And how do I get from a decimal value to a hex decimal value? Well, there is a function in PHP called dec hex, D-E-C-H-E-X. You can look it up in the function manual. What that allows me to do is actually convert from a decimal value into a hex decimal version. So in this color value here, again, I'm going to inject in a particular random number. I'm going to paste in what I had before. I have to decide what the random number is going to be, though. Well, the 16.777 million hexadecimal colors in the hexadecimal color value system. So I need to go somewhere between probably 100,000 or more and 16 million. So let's just try that. 100,000 and 16 million on the other side, 16777216 or something around there. That's gonna give me a decimal value between those different ranges. And I'm gonna convert that over to a hex decimal value by passing that number that is returned from that RAND function into the dec hex function. So dec hex 
pass in that random number that's come back from that rand function. And that should come back with a hex decimal value for me. Let's save it, check it in the browser, and then we can look at the random hex decimal number values that are coming back in the source code. So I save that. I go back, let's refresh. Should get different colors, which we do. I'm going to right click here and go view page source. And yeah, this is what I was looking for just random hex decimal color values. And the thing I'm looking for here is that they're all six characters wide, which they seem to be. There's one there with only five, so I need to up my kind of lower limit. But generally, they tend to be six values or six characters. So let's just go back to my code. And again, I just know that this is a little bit too low to make sure for me to make sure that there's actually six hexadecimal characters in the number that gets produced when it gets passed into deck hex. I'm just after looking up here in a hexadecimal to decimal converter on the web. Uh, if I put in a hex number, the lowest one being 100,000, the decimal number equivalent to that is 1048576. So 1, 048, and 576. Uh, if I convert that value to a hexadecimal number, it's going to give me 100000. So that will guarantee that every number that gets generated from the system, the lowest base can be 100000. So that is going to be the lowest six decimal number that I can have. So if I actually save that and go back and refresh, uh, I should all have six characters wide, and I do. And so again, I just get random colors here. Um, I'm just going to resize my window down to the normal size. This is 100 pixels, or sorry, 100%. And uh, let's just refresh that again. And I'm just not quite happy with my rectangles. I'd like them to be a little bit bigger. So again, this is just trial and error. So we're getting a splay of different sizes there. And again, it's just whatever your personal preferences are. So there I have it. I've got random colors, random widths, random heights, and random positions. And I've got 30 of them. If I want any more than 30, obviously I can just go to my for loop and just up the limit there to whatever kind of number that I want. That's going to give me that. Um, last thing is, how do I actually get this particular effect to just continuously refresh itself? Well, there is a meta tag that I can put into the head section of my HTML. It's the refresh meta tag, HTTP equiv, set it to refresh. And the content attribute, I can set that to the second value on whichever second I want the refresh to happen. So if I want it to happen every half a second, I can set it to 0 0.5, or every two seconds, I can set it to two. So again, it's personal preferences, but I'll save that, go back to my browser refresh and I'm just going to let it do its thing here I'm not actually pressing the refreshing button anymore it's just refreshing itself every two seconds and let's just see the effect that if I actually put it at 0 0.5 and refresh well it's going to do it every half a second and there's lots of fun to be had with this in terms of at the moment I've just got divs or rectangles if I wanted to get circles, how might I actually achieve circles? Well, to achieve circles, I would need them to be symmetrical. Uh, so I need the width and the height to be identical. Uh, so in that case, I just need to possibly just set a value here that's random, but make sure that the same value gets set in here at height as well. So I'll just set up a new variable here. I'll call it uh, width height. And I will just call that rand function straight away and assign that in there with height. Every time we go into a new iteration of the for loop, a new with height value gets set inside that variable. And so then I use that variable twice. I use it here for the width and for the height. And so whatever that value is, is going to get used twice to keep that width and height consistent. So that will make the actual uh, the the shape symmetrical. At the moment, I'll just get squares when I do that. So I've got all squares now rather than rectangles. And 
if I want circles, well, I can actually just put in a style section up here. And this is an internal style sheet, of course, and just all divs, I'll set the border radius to 50%. And that will ensure that they're all circles. So let's refresh that. And we've got this circle type of effect as well. So again, this is just a nice kind of effect and just puts into practice some of the things that we're learning in PHP, namely the for loop and the ran function and the deck hex function and some extra bonuses here like the PHP end of line and so on. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thanks.